Welcome to Elector Online. Our next example of how to simplify polynomials has something special for us. Here we have some brackets. Inside the brackets there, notice we have two sets of polynomials inside parentheses. Now what we should do first is simplify what's inside the brackets. And the question always is, when can we remove parentheses without doing anything? And when do we need to do something first before we can remove the parentheses? The key is, what is in front of the parentheses? Now over here we have a plus sign. Since there's a plus sign there, that means we can simply remove the parentheses and not change anything at all. If this was a negative sign, we'd first have to apply the negative sign to what's inside before we can remove the parentheses. On the left side here, notice we don't have anything in front of it. That means it implies a positive sign. We don't have to write it. And so therefore, again, we can simply remove these parentheses without doing anything. Just simply remove them and leave everything else the same. We can only do that if there's a positive sign in front of the parentheses. So let's go ahead and do that first. So this becomes 5x to the fourth. We keep the negative sign there. We're not going to use it yet. And so here we simply remove the parentheses minus 2x to the fourth. And the same over here plus now here, what we can do is uh, simply begin to apply the negative sign to everything that's inside, or maybe we should first simplify what's inside. Are there any like terms? And yes, there are. The plus x and the minus 8x, those are like terms. They have x to the first power, so we can first combine those two. So this can then be written as 5x to the fourth. We still keep the negative sign here. We haven't used it yet. So we have a minus 2x to the fourth. We have a minus 3x cubed. We have a plus 4x squared. And a plus x minus 8x becomes a minus 7x. So now that we have simplified what's inside the brackets, we can now apply this negative sign to what's, what's inside the brackets before we remove the brackets. So here we have an example where you can simply not just remove the brackets. You have to first apply the negative sign to what's inside the brackets. We have to apply the negative sign here here, here, and here. And we have to do that first. So here we keep rewriting this. Now a negative times a negative becomes a plus 2x to the fourth. A negative times a negative becomes a plus 3x cubed. A negative times a positive becomes a minus 4x squared. And a negative times a negative becomes a plus 7x. So now we have all the parentheses and brackets removed. Now we simply have to add like terms. Starting with an x to the fourth term, we have two of those. So we're going to combine those two, five plus two, which is seven x to the fourth. Sometimes it helps to cross the terms that you already summed up uh, because that way it makes it easier to keep track of the rest. So we can just go ahead and do that because we've combined them. Now we have two x cubed terms. 9 plus 3, that gives us plus 12 x cubed. And now we can get rid of those two because we've already added them. The x squared terms have a minus 6, minus 4. That becomes a minus 10 x squared. So now we've gotten rid of those. And we have a single x to the first term that becomes plus 7 x. And this is then the simplified form of what we started with. And that's how it's done. 